Hey guys, it is Casey with Accidental Homeschoolers. I am so glad to see you guys again today. I am joined by my diabetic cat, Finn. And today I wanted to talk about how we do book reports, but I also wanted to give you a quick life update. So, uh, most of you already know, if you're new, I'm sorry, you'll have to go back and watch some old videos. But all of you that are not new, know that we are moving and we're moving basically across the country. So we will be, oh, the Packers come in five days and then we have to sit in our house for a weekend full of boxes <laughs> and then on a Monday they load the truck and then we have to get a truck. So I have one week and well, yeah, I have a few days <laughs> until it's gonna be all chaos. Um, so it is Sunday as I'm recording this and you guys will see this Monday. Um, so let me give you a little a bit of a backstory. I have two stepdaughters that are older. As of today, they are both adults. Um, my oldest stepdaughter is 21 and I think it was two weeks ago, got engaged. We're very happy for her and very excited. But then they came over and had a couple conversations with us and realized. So when they both realized that we were going to be gone in like eight or nine days, they started talking and they were talking about getting married in, you know, several months, but we're not going to be here. So my husband, her father said, well, I'll fly in, you know, I'll make sure that I'm there. I, me and the kids probably can't come she got really sad and I said that's okay like we can FaceTime someone can hold the can the phone like it'll be fine <laughs> and she didn't really like that um, and then it turns out his parents will be in town this weekend so guess what I'm doing on Saturday <laughs> she is getting married on Saturday and we have to plan a wedding in basically one week so literally they talked about it Friday, Saturday morning, it was like a go. Saturday night, we went to pick a dress. And if you've ever had to pick out a dress, um, it takes a while to get one. And I thought we were gonna do something simple. She thought she was gonna do something simple. But we found a dress in her size that she loves, off the rack, that fits, and walked out the door in like an hour and a half. So. It all worked out great. She picked out a dress. The dress has dictated the type of wedding. And if you're not aware in the world, there is a staffing shortage just about everywhere. So trying to find some kind of venue that's like not our living room or her mom's living room or something that's, you know, even the courthouse, they're not gonna let the whole entire family in. So with the, the staffing shortage, Places don't have big rooms open for rent. And in a week's notice, yeah, that's not gonna happen. But we did find something that was not, <laughs> was not, you know, silly or dumb. And I wanted to make sure that she had something nice. But to plan a wedding in a week, I mean, literally there's not gonna be any more than maybe like 15 people total. And that includes all of us and them. But trying to make it super nice, I'm gonna do, you know, video, I'm gonna do pictures. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot, but I wasn't so sure until we, we took her to get a dress. And she, she put on a few and I could tell it wasn't, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Then she put on the one she picked out and it was like, a switch flipped and she was so excited and so happy and it was like okay well everybody's got to dress up a lot more <laughs> we've got to do a better job with like decorations and stuff but overall um, she's gonna have her um, sister her younger sister that's 18 be her maid of honor and I was like well you can't just wear some dress you have in your closet like we, we got to get a better dress so she needed a dress which was fine because today is her birthday so it was kind of nice I was like you can wear this more than once because it's actually pretty and she likes it and it's a good color so overall 
Yeah, so to add one more stressor to trying to move and all the other things that are going on. But hey, you know, it's actually been great because things have just fallen into place very easily and I hope that it continues throughout the week. I hope that it continues for the day. We actually, funny thing, we actually have to do it at night, like eight o'clock at night because she has to work all day. <laughs> So it's, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have a baby who's very tired, probably screaming, trying to take like photos, trying to do video and things like that. But I at least want them to have really good memories. And so here we go. <laughs> All right. So on to the actual like homeschooling things you're probably here for. I'm not sure if you know, you enjoy hearing about my life, but it's actually been such a fun roller coaster that it's just kind of comical that I like to share it with you guys. So anyway, um, the way that we do book reports is we do book reports um, because when my son reads a book, yes, I can ask him what happened. And I used to do that when he was a lot younger. You know, what happened? Who are the characters? Where did it take place? What did you like about it? Can you draw a picture, you know, like in his little journal? But now that he's a little bit older, I want him to start thinking about all the aspects in a story that are super important. So I thought, you know what, I better create something. And I ended up creating this. I created a template that would prompt him on the information that he needed to give, but also like it was appealing to the eye and not boring. So I created this and this, he will add the title of the story, the author, the setting of the story. We've talked about all these different aspects. He writes a quick little summary about it. Over here, he'll write a list of characters. On this side, he'll write his favorite part. And at the bottom, he'll draw a little picture. And over here, I added some stars so he could give it like, how many stars do you think it deserves? And this helps a lot. I put the date at the top and then it becomes like a record of all the books that he read. I used to try to keep like a written log, like when he finished it, what it was, and I just couldn't keep up with it. So now he knows when he finishes a book that he's reading, he just goes and gets one of these. I just have a stack and he'll just go get one, fill it out. We're good to go. Now, as he gets older, this is going to change. Definitely. It will be more in depth. It will require more writing. And then as he's much older, he's just going to need notebook paper or maybe, you know, Microsoft Word. <laughs> so overall, I wanted it to be simple. You know, this can be used for younger children, you know, maybe early middle school, but I wanted to share this with you because sometimes you just need something easy and you need something that you can just print out and you don't have to think about it. So I'm going to put this in the description box, a link to my Google Drive, and that way you can download it and you can print it if you would like to have it. And then it'll always be yours <laughs> and it'll make your life a little bit easier. So how do you guys do book reports? Do you do book reports? Do you just have them write a little summary on a piece of notebook paper? Do you have them tell you orally? Do you just have them draw a picture? Do you go so in depth, you make him do a PowerPoint, you make him do an iMovie, act it out, make a play, you know, what do you do? Older children, I would really like to hear what older children are doing as well, because my oldest is eight. Um, yes, I have taught older kids, but if you have maybe like middle school and high school kids, what are you having them do? That would be interesting, I think, for me to think about for the future and also for other people to help them, you know, if they do have older kids or to think for the future as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. You could give likes for Finn. <laughs> And um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.